Hello, it's a Jack again, bringing you another Supreme Commander 2 replay. This gate time, it's a four player free for all on Geofarmer Borehole. While we fast forward it through the economy, we've got the bottom myself up against Darkest Asin on the left, Matty on the top, and Ronnie on the right. Well, should be a fun game. I'm Aeon, Ronnie's Aeon, Darkest Asin's UEF, and Matty's Aeon. You can already see I started by building a tactical missile launcher. It costs six research points, but when it's the first thing you do, and in a game against, in a game if there's no cyber player, my god, can it pay for itself in research? It, at the same time, it also cripples the other players. I mean, there's one mass point gone. I'm going for the factory, but I eventually give up, thinking I can't kill it. Well, I did get a shield up, so maybe I couldn't. So I switch targets eventually. We can see Dark Assassin and Matty have went land and myself and Ronnie have went air. As you can see here. Giving up on that factory I target Dark Assassin's mass extractor, there goes one. Now it's a bit tricky with a tactical missile launcher because well initially with no training anywhere or veterans anywhere, it takes two volleys to kill a mass extractor. Now when this tactical missile launcher gains full veterancy, a single volley is enough to kill a mass extractor. If you leave it targeting itself, it's going to waste shots. And as Ronnie comes in to try and kill a mass extractor, I use my commander as a shield. I stand in front of that uh, tactical missile launcher and stop all those bombs. Well worth it. It only takes about four bombers to kill this tactical missile launcher, so the technique is quite necessary. I kill a few mobile missile launchers there, but there's another two replacing them. Most likely they're going for the tactical missile launcher. You can see it quickly dies there. Nothing I can do to keep it alive. And here comes Ronnie trying to kill my ear, but I quickly destroy that as well. Moving my com forward pushes. No, no, it wasn't my com at all. Matty pushing forward made Dark flee, but not before he killed my radar and mass extractor as well. But I've killed Ronnie's air twice, so I've got the advantage and there's one com dead. There's Ronnie, Matty's assault dealt with quickly enough. Smelling weakness I go for his factory. There goes one factory. But as I do that, Ronnie's moving out once again with his planes. So I decide, more free kills. There goes one plane. The other six flee. I give chase. Well, I try to give chase, but my planes ignore me. At the same time, Matty's moving out, it looks like. I wonder who he's going to go for. Well, I get three planes at least. There goes three planes. Matty's retreating. I've got my tactical missile launcher up again. Once again, I kill Ronnie's mass extractor. Bomb his engineer. I'm going for another mass extractor, and there it goes. Deady. Well, I did, but I changed target for some reason. Who knows? Well, at least I've got Dark's mass extractors to keep me amused. All the while, I'm building more and more planes. This tactical missile launcher probably should cost mass to fire. Just saying. It's quite overpowered in a slow research game. Especially when someone goes air, they have no defense against it other than actually destroying it. As much as... Ronnie tried to destroy it, I used my com as a shield. There goes the front mass extractors and factory for Ronnie and Ronnie's moving his com out to deal with this impeding land force. My god, that com died quickly. Well, once again, weakness smell. I go for his factory. And there's that factory dead, all the way until attack missileing dark, but Dark has built slip tacks. Mobile missile defences. So my attack missile against Dark's a bit wasteful. So now it's just a matter of bombing him to oblivion. Such as that. He is building a lot of AA though, but I feel I'm confident enough in destroying him with the planes I have. You can see here, Hugo's two factories now. Yep, two factories dead. Then I go for his math points. Oh, at the same time, it looks like Matty's moving out. It looks like this time he's going to go for Ronnie again. 
You want Ronnie to die. But, well, what's going on the go? Undefended. I assume no A8. I smell three bombing run. But he does have the radar upgrade, but it doesn't stop me bombing them to oblivion. Their AA is one of the weakest in the game. I mean, it took all those bots, focused fire, several volleys to kill a plane. Here goes another bombing run. He does split up his forces quite well, but up here he walked a few into, the, into their death. Ronnie's crippled. I'm not sure what he's doing now. Dark Assassin's just spamming mobile AA everywhere. But once again, I'm going for his factories. Get a mass point of factory and a point defence. Worth it. Well, it looks like Matt is run walking out again. Once again, I bomb him. And this time it was a great bombing run. I killed over half his force there. And then I go for darks, because it was nice and grouped up at the time. How fun. But he is rebuilding his factory. I've got to put a stop to this somehow. Go for his engineers. And his mobile missile defences. Next, the factories. Well, there's one factory dead. And there's the next dead. And... Looks like the last one's going to survive for now. I'm going to regroup my planes, it seems. Matt is just rebuilding more and more Harvogs. Unless they're in huge amounts, they're no good against air. And they're even worse against A on air. Once I have flares, it's game over. I already have the Scorch Bomb upgrade. And now it's just finishing off Dark. He's only got one engineer left. And it's gonna... Yep, dead. There's Dark is out of the game. So it's just Matty left and he's charging at me with a reasonable sized land force, but it's all heart walks. Their AA is terrible and they're quick to die. They do nothing. They don't even get a shot off at anything on the ground. He does get close, but they all die. With that, I'm sure Matty control K's. Yep. So that just leaves Ronnie left. Look at all this point defence and AA. It's all going to die in one pass. Right now I'm going to show you exactly why you don't group up point defence like this. In a single pass, it all died. Yeah. You never group up point defence and AA like that. You always spread it out so they can't all be killed at once. Well, I enjoyed my tactical missile launcher at the start there. Provides a great amount of research for its cost. It costs six research points to unlock, but as you can, as you've seen, it more than pays for itself and what it can kill, as well as denying pretty much every player three of their mass points. Against a Cybern player, however, not so helpful. They can they can so quickly get adapters out. I mean, by the time you've researched that, they can research adapters, so it's. Not worthwhile using against a Cybern player, unless you want them to waste research. But you've wasted research as well, so was it worth it? Probably not. But against a UEF and two Aeon players, there was nothing either of them could do about it. And then just spamming air all the while putting research into that, it was, it was quite a one-sided game for me. No one could contend with me. A few lucky attacks on Ronnie as he tried to bomb my tactical missile launcher gave me the clear advantage in the air and Matty deciding to attack the other two before me just made it easier. So I hope you enjoyed the game, you can check out my channel for more and you can always subscribe, so yeah.